It's a solid movie, and it's good seeing Caleb McLaughlin do something different. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Concrete Cowboy. It's a new Netflix movie starring Idris Elba and Caleb McLaughlin. You may know him from Stranger Things. He plays Lucas. And this movie is totally different for him. He plays an older teenager who is getting in a lot of trouble. We don't really see what kind of trouble he's getting in at home. We just hear a phone call and the principal is telling his mom they don't think they can handle him. So the mom is frustrated and we know that it's not the first time he's gotten in trouble. So she's like, I'm taking you to your dad. And she drives from Detroit to Philly and literally drops him off at the stoop. The father's not even home yet. And she's like, peace, I'm out of here. And he's like, I'm not staying here, you know. And it's like any kid who doesn't really know their father and gets dropped off with them, he's rebellious. He doesn't know the area. The people around the neighborhood know him, but he doesn't remember people. And he's just, he's not really feeling his pops. And of course, his pops is played by Idris Elba. He goes by Harp and he is a cowboy. He owns horses. He has a horse in the house um, and he takes care of these stables. And Cole is not rocking with it. Like he's not with it at all. So he essentially runs away, trying to call his mom, trying to get in contact with his mom. And he comes across an old friend named Smush. And he's not the best influence for Cole. He's you know, selling drugs, and although he has a bigger plan, he's trying to get Cole to just roll with him in terms of selling drugs and hanging with the wrong crowd. Cole bumps heads with his father, and, you know, it's just, it's that, the story of a, a kid getting closer to his father, but more importantly, he's getting closer to the, to the community that his father's around, and, you know, you hear often in this movie that, you know, home is not a place, it's a fam, and it rings true because I learned a lot about real cowboys in this movie. Um, some of the people you meet and come across are real Philadelphia cowboys um, from Fletcher Street. And one in particular, Paris, I really enjoyed his character. Um, he's a he's in a wheelchair. He's a real person. And he, he kind of grooms Cole. As Cole is struggling to take care of the stables, he talks to him and he gives him some pointers of, you know, making his job a little bit easier. And that helps Cole feel less awkward around everybody and it was just really cool seeing their dynamic dynamic the way he talked to Cole and you know just gave him little hints here and there about being a cowboy and about taking care of the stables and taking care of the horses you know and Cole makes this connection with a new horse who is just angry and upset and nobody gets to go close to this horse and the horse's name is Boo and Cole gets this connection with Boo and that helps him get integrated into this community of black cowboys in Philadelphia that, you know, many people don't know about. So it's a it's a really cool story. It you know, it has its up and up and down moments where, you know, Cole may not be in the right place at the right time. Um in, in terms of negatives, I thought it it took a little while to wrap up all the different storylines that were going on, you know, in terms of just ending the story on a on a good note. So it 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 fumbled a little bit towards the end. Uh, Method Man is in this as well, and he plays a cop. Um, he used to be a writer, but he's a cop, so he has to like straddle the fence of you know upholding the law, but still looking out for his old friends in the in the neighborhood as well. So it was it was a solid movie. I enjoyed it. Um, it again, um, Caleb McLaughlin is good seeing him do something different outside of Stranger Things because you know people can get typecast. You know, if they do something for long enough. So it was good seeing him get to, you know, act alongside these other people. And, you know, just break out of his shell a little bit because he's, he's getting older. Um, but it's called Concrete Cowboy. If you watched it, let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.